Okay, so again, the first thing we need to do is derive this equation. Okay, once we derive it, we gotta make it equal to zero and we need to factor it as well. My common factor. I can factor this again using my man method. Once I factor, I can tell you my solutions, which are basically my stationary points. Once I get my stationary points, I put them on my number line. And I find my intervals of increase and decrease by doing y prime of negative 1, y prime of 1, and y prime of 3. In this case, I get a negative, get a positive, get a positive. I know it's decreasing, increasing, and increasing. And I know that there's a minimum at x equals to 0. Put this in my equation, and I get negative 9. So I know my minimum. Do my intervals. Two intervals of increase and one interval of decrease. Okay, next, I'm going to do my double derivation, find my inflection points. Make that equal to zero and factor as well. Over here, I can do my man method with a value. So my m is three times four, which is twelve. My a is negative eight. Numbers are negative six and negative two. Okay, once I do this, I have to do my fractions. So it's going to be 3x over negative 6, 3x over negative 2. This one can be simplified to x over negative 2. That one's going to stay the same. My solutions are x minus 2, 3x minus 2, gives me x equals to 2 and x equals to 2 over 3. Those are my inflection points. Then once I get these, I put them on my number line. Now I'm going to test y double prime of 0, y double prime of 1, and y double prime of 3. So that's just 48, which makes this concave up. y double prime of 1 is a negative number, so that's going to be concave down. y double prime of 3 is a positive number, so that's going to make this concave up. So I'm going to write my intervals. Concave up, negative infinity. Concave down, and last I'm going to do stationary points and inflection points. Remember, I already have a minimum of zero comma negative nine. Okay, so I have an inflection point at two over three. Negative 
put that in the original equation and then I have an inflection point and stationary point at 2 comma 7 okay finally I can sketch this out start by putting that inflection point 2 over 3 and negative 2.5 Next, 2 comma 7, and last my minimum is at 0 comma negative 9. So 0 and negative 9 would be down here. I'm going to start off by always drawing my mins or maxes, it's the easiest. It's going to change direction over here. Remember at this point over here it becomes flat and it changes direction as well. Well not direction, changes concavity. The direction remains the same because it's not a max.